Breakfast times. Come on. Come on. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, I am sharing with you what my Sundays look like, what I do to rest and just relax. This is a typical Sunday for me and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So today is Sunday and I am filming a relaxing vlog. I thought it would be good to share what my Sundays look like. My husband and I typically focus on rest on Sundays and go to church, fellowship with our brothers and sisters in Christ and really rest in the Lord. Last week I had a busy week and next week I'm gonna have um, quite a busy week as well. So Saturday yesterday was just rest day and today is You know focusing on church fellowship with our friends and doing the things that fuel my soul Before I start another week. So today is just focused on rest and that's what we're going to do today in this video so I'm now done getting ready. I'm now going downstairs, gonna do some reading, quiet time, and just enjoy the rest of my morning. Hello. Why is it smoky? Because I did my hair. So I asked you guys last week on my community tab on what videos you would like to see. And Sam said she would like to see convictions, set apartness, boundaries, relationships, etc. One thing I've been really convicted about is taking care of myself holistically and that includes rest and everything, eating well, sleeping well and taking care of my body and moving my body. You guys know that I care about living a holistic lifestyle and that was actually my dissertation when I was doing my undergrad and so yes resting i still struggle with it even though i am intentional in taking my weekends off i feel like i still struggle with it because when i rest i feel like oh i'm being lazy i'm not doing anything but the lord commands us to rest it's not something that we can choose not to do or to do because it's a command to be obeyed but it is a good command it is for us God made the Sabbath for man because he knows that we need it. Setting up a cozy environment for a relaxing reading session is important for me. One of the things I love is having a good background noise and that is why I am super excited to partner with Shut Eye in this video. Scientists tell us that sleep is a biological necessity and it is. It is important for our overall health and wellness. I remember one night I decided to stay up late just so I can finish an essay the day before I was going to a conference. And that night I only had four hours sleep and I was at the conference. I did not enjoy it. All I could think about was my bed and the result I did not get a lot. <laughs> From the conference because I was relying on caffeine I was like a zombie I just wanted my bed 
God designed sleep because he knows we need it. That is why I appreciate Shut Eye for caring about people's sleep to promote health and wellness. Shut Eye is a personalized all-in-one app to help you relax and sleep. They currently rank top 3 among sleep apps and have over 3 million users worldwide. One feature I appreciate about Shut Eye is its ability to make sounds to suit your preference. I personally use Shut Eye for multiple situations as you will see in this video later. I use it when I'm reading and studying because they offer a good variety of background and white noise. I also use it when I'm stretching and relaxing and my favorite way of using it is turning on relaxing sounds when I start winding down before bed. Shut Eye has also kindly offered three six months free trial for you guys so you can check out their VIP features such as tracking your sleep, ASMR, background noise, sleeping stories, and more. So just comment down below what your sleep is like from 1 to 10 and I will pick three winners to get the six months free trial of their VIP features. Don't miss this this opportunity guys I absolutely love this app I actually used it for myself because I absolutely love background noises such as rain sounds and all that and I've used many apps before and I actually really like shut eye don't forget you can actually try shut eye for free I will put the link in the description box below and thanks to shut eye for partnering with me on this video Hey bear, are you hungry? I'm gonna pain it yung ano den. Yeah, and do you want a pizza? And salad? Alright. Okay, I'm taking a break from reading. I'm gonna have lunch now and I'm hoping to go for a walk before our church service. So yeah. I'm excited for lunch. I've been looking for my tripod everywhere but I can't find it and I'm not confident going outside filming without my tripod. So, yeah, I don't know what to do. I might just go out for a walk without my tripod, I guess. Okay, this is my outfit for today. Love my wee necklace. What's this? Mom jeans, some fluffy coat, and I'm gonna pair it with a white pair of shoes that I got from my brothers. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk now. It is 1 p.m. I'm gonna walk for an hour, go home, and head to church. Kevin's not gonna walk with me because his work involves a lot of walking and he's just resting upstairs. That's why I'm going on my own and I am going to listen to a podcast. Um, I'll probably listen to Lana Blakely's podcast. I'm covering our couch because Benji, our bunny, he likes making little holes on this couch. So I'm just protecting our poor couch. Okay, let's go.
پنج چمان So we just got home and it is now quarter past four and it's already dark outside. I am feeling under the weather. Uh, my throat is feeling a bit funny. So uh, I don't really want to talk much in this video. But I'm going to cook some dinner tonight and do some stretches. I've been stretching consistently lately and I love listening to Shut Eye. I listen to Gentle Fire for 10 minutes to 15 minutes. It just helps me relax and enjoy my stretch session. So I'm gonna do that after I cook, have dinner, and I'm gonna watch Home Alone 2. I actually watched the first movie and at first, I didn't like it, I found it really annoying, but then in the end, I actually liked it. It turned out really good. Now I know why most people like that movie. I've been watching Christmas movies since three weeks ago, I think. I know some people might find it too early to watch Christmas movies. So yeah, I'm gonna cook now. I'm gonna cook Nilaga. Um, so it's basically just beef with lots of vegetables in it and we're gonna have rice and just have a restful chill night Spin! Good job! Spin! Good job! So whilst I was waiting for the nilaga to cook, I decided to stretch for 10 minutes. One habit I have been consistent at is stretching and roam falling. My choice of music is always nature sounds. I have been listening to gentle fire and sometimes I mix rain and campfire sounds by shut eye. I tend to sit in front of my computer most days, so stretching has been a key part of my day to help with my posture and back pain problems. Tonight, my choice of relaxation activity is to watch a Christmas movie, so that's what I did. I watched the first quarter with Kevin, I ate my dinner, ate some snacks, enjoyed the movie, and just relaxed. I think it's important to do things like this to wind down after a busy week and before I start a hectic week ahead. I typically wind down half an hour to an hour before bed. So what I do is I do a quick cleanup, I make myself and Kevin a hot water bottle, I do my skincare routine, I brush my teeth, go get ready for bed, I do a quick reading and I have been loving listening to nature sounds whilst I get ready for bed. I've been playing by the lake for half an hour before bed and it just makes me relax and it actually makes me enjoy the process of winding down before I hit my pillows. Before I close off this video, I want to share with you guys something that I read this morning from Romans 8. So this chapter is about life in the spirit and verses 15 to 17 really stuck out to me. So you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba, Father. For his spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. And since we are his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we are to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. And I want to focus on, but if we are to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. 
this is very convicting to me. Dr. James White said that some Christians, most Christians, have a lump-sided view of the cross and a small understanding of the suffering of Christ on the cross. And when he explained what he meant, I actually got convicted. He said that we don't understand the cross when we only think of God's love. Because on the cross, we see God's love and God's wrath. Yes, it is true that Jesus died on the cross because he loved us so much. God, for God so loved the world. But it took the Son of God to go through the cross for us because sin is serious and God hates sin and it took his son to go through that humiliating death that shows us the consistency the nature of God's love and God's wrath displayed in the death of his son and so this passage is really convicting to me because if I want to share in Christ's glory then I should be ready to suffer with him also and suffering to us Christians in the 21st century might look different to me that could be dying to myself daily going outside of my comfort zone to share the love of God and the gospel to an unbeliever who might be hostile to the gospel. It might be standing firm in your faith at work. It might be dying to yourself daily. Man, that is suffering. And so this is very important because when I think about the cross, yes, I think of God's love for me, but I also think of God's wrath, of God's justice, the fact that he hates sin, that should make me hate my sin. When I have a good understanding of the cross, repentance becomes real because it makes us sorrowful over sin. And I want to challenge you to dig deeper to not graduate in learning more about the gospel and learning more about the cross of Christ because the more you dig deeper, the more you see the glory and beauty of the gospel that saved you. So yes, I'm gonna close off the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys in my next one. Grace and peace be with you, but for now, much love and God bless. Bye.